Let me show you guys how easy it is to install these Leviton Decora Edge light switches. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can do this in five minutes or less, let's do it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Dean and It Yourself. If you're a first time subscriber, welcome, thank you. Long time subscribers, welcome back as usual. Today's gonna to be quick and easy, and I'm gonna show you guys just how easy and simple it is to install these Leviton Decora Edge switches. You Now you've heard me rave about them, you've seen me review them, You've heard me talk about the features and how simple it is to wire this up, but better than talking about it, let me show you guys how to do it. If this is the first time you're seeing one of my videos about these Leviton Decora Edge switches, you can always go ahead and check here. There'll be a pop-up for the actual review on these things and the features that come built into them. And if it isn't the first time that you're seeing one of my videos regarding these switches, now I'm gonna show you the actual install from start to finish so that you guys can follow along if you guys purchase one of these things and want to install them. As usual, I'll leave links in the description, timestamps so you guys can follow along and make it as easy and straightforward for you as possible. So without further ado, let's jump into this thing. Now this video is going to be relatively quick because like I said, it sh you should be able to install these things in five minutes or less. Now, the video might be longer because I gotta put it all together and explain stuff, but when you're actually doing it, the install time on these things are amazing. And to be honest, it makes it more approachable. Without further ado, let's jump into the video and let me show you exactly how easy it is to do. The first thing I wanna do before I turn the power off is I wanna test to find out where the line and the load is for my circuit. Now, on these Decora Edge light switches, the top, if you notice here, this is oriented where the top is, if you can see here, and this is the bottom, so the switch should be installed like this. And if it's installed like this, the top one here is where your, your load is going to go, and the bottom one is where your line is going to go. And of course, the green one is where your ground is going to go. So I like to find out where my line and my load is first. So before we turn the power off, I'm gonna show you how to test to find which one, where your line and your load wires are. So first you wanna start by removing your cover plate. Mine is a different style cover plate that just snaps off but yours may be the one where you have the screws, where you have to remove the screws. If you have the screws, just remove the screws and take off your cover plate. And unfortunately for me, I have to also remove this plate as well. Now with that removed, I can go ahead and set it aside. With this, you just wanna take your time and remove your light switch. Once the screws are loose, you can go ahead and pull the switch out. So as you can see, I have two terminals on the side of the light switch. So what I want to do is I want to take my non-contact voltage tester and I want to touch it to one of the terminals. As you can hear, that one has power. So if I turn the light switch on and off, it does nothing. There's still constant power. So I know that the top wire going into this switch is my line and the bottom one is my load. As you can see here, it goes off when I turn the light switch off. So now you've located your line and your load is on the bottom. Now we can go ahead and turn off the power to this light switch. If you don't know how to do it, you can check out my video here where I show you how to do it. You can either use your circuit breaker finder or you can have somebody help you by going and flipping the breakers one by one. Whichever way you wanna choose, it's your choice, but next thing you wanna do is turn off the power. Now that the power is off, you wanna test it to make sure that there's no power going to your light switch. And as you can see here, my switch is completely dead. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna remove all the wires. I remember here that the bottom wire was my load and you can see here it's red, and the top one is my line, which is black. I'm gonna go ahead and remove them. In this case, they use the backstabbing feature, and as you can see, this wire was able to come out pretty easy. Same thing with the hot one. It came out relatively easy. If you have enough wire, you can go ahead and cut them off and then restrip them. Next is you wanna remove your ground. Take your old switch, throw it away. The next thing you want to do is prepare your wires for installation of the new switch. Now, I have my ground here. I'm just going to straighten it out because I'm going to reuse the existing ground. And I have enough wire here. Now, as you can see, you want to strip off about 9 16 of an inch on both your line and your load wire so that you have enough to insert it into the Leviton switch. Now, here comes the easy part. Take your switch. I'm going to orient them the right way. I know that the tab on the top is for my load, the tab on the bottom is for my line. So I'm just gonna insert them into the respective holes here. Take my load, put it in all the way, and then close the lever. Same thing I'm gonna do for my line wire, 
push it in all the way. Close the lever, do a little pull test to make sure that they're nice and snug. It's good. Flip the switch around and I'm gonna do the same thing for my ground. Push it in all the way, make sure it's in. Close the lever and just like that, the switch is wired up. In this case, there's some tabs on the top. Because of this box that I'm using, I need to break this off so that I'm able to put the wall plate back on. You may not have that issue if you're using a regular wall plate, but in some cases, you may need to break these tabs off. They are breakaway, so they should break off relatively easy with a pair of pliers. Just a reminder, if you guys have found value in the content so far, don't forget to hit that like button. That's one. Repeat the same process for the top. And that's it. I also have these tabs on here that I need to remove because they're used in case you want to connect more decor edge switches next to each other. In this case, I don't, so I'm just going to go ahead and break this tab off. Just like that. Last but not least, you're just going to go ahead, push all the wires back into your box, and then you're going to go ahead and put your switch back in. The important thing when you're putting this in is that you want to make sure that you try and keep your light switches level. The good thing is I know this one is already level, so I can go ahead and just butt this one up next to it and they both should be level and straight. Next thing you want to do is put on your wall plate. Now let's go ahead and turn the power back on and test our light switch. All right, welcome back. Power is back on. Light switch is working and the install was pretty easy. Again, this was the installation process of how easy it was to install these light switches. Anybody can do it now. It literally took me longer to find the breaker and turn the breaker off than it did to actually install the switch. Now, of course, depending on your skill level and how comfortable you are, it may take you a little bit longer if you're trying to be careful with the wires. Literally, three wires. Stri take out your old light switch, strip your wires, put them in, in your line, your load, and your ground. Close the levers down, make sure that they're nice and snug, put your switch back in, and you are done. I hope watching this video gives you the courage to go out there and change out some of your light switches, upgrade them, or if you have a damaged one, to replace it. It's not a complicated process, guys. You just gotta follow the steps, make sure you're safe, and that's it. If you like this content, you found it helpful, do me a favor, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button so that you guys can stay in the loop when I do more DIY tips and tricks. Thank you guys so much for watching and joining me again. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.